The combat pack for MK11 has finally been released and players on all platforms are loving the characters. But what's next for the game? What's up guys, Shadow Ninja here and welcome back to Rage Quit. For this video, we're going to be talking about what's next for MK11. It's been a long wait, but the combat pack is finally finished and fans have a lot of questions. When the combat pack was first announced, fans were expecting maybe half a year of content and then a combat pack 2 with more characters in a fairly short time frame. The character packs of MKX and Injustice 2 worked that exact same way, so having that assumption for MK11 was warranted. We soon found out that this wasn't going to be the case this time around, as NetherRealm took the live service approach and stretched the combat pack across a year's time frame. The combat pack is finally finished with Spawn being the final DLC character along with skins for other characters. MK11 is a great game in my opinion, but the game lacks a lot in newer content. DLC characters and occasional character skins are always a welcome addition, but NetherRealm definitely has issues with free consistent content after a game's launch. I doubt that NRS is done with MK11, there's a lot more content potential and Ed Boon himself even stated that the service for the game won't conclude anytime soon, but my question still stands. What are they planning on doing with it now that the combat pack has been released? There could be a lot of things they could do with the game. They could add new fighting maps, do a complete overhaul of the gear and cosmetics, giving players the opportunity to unlock a new array of stuff for their favorite characters, and of course, they could also add more fighters to the game in a potential combat pack too. There have been a lot of leaks covering a little bit of everything I just mentioned. A while back we got some leaks in the files about classic stages coming to the game and I heard from a fellow content creator that we might be getting an ultimate edition for the game very similar to the legendary edition of Injustice 2 or the XL edition for MKX. I don't really know what newer things would be in an ultimate edition but I do remember when you could upgrade to Injustice 2's legendary edition and the devs added a higher rarity of gear and, a new, cos and new cosmetics. I would like this to be the same case. Some different skins and new gear to upgrade and unlock would be awesome, and would reintroduce the grind to the game, and maybe they could look into the crypt a little bit and add more locations and items you could obtain from the shrine. I feel like after you bleed the crypt dry of all the content you want, there's no incentive to go back to it. In the game's current state, you can test your luck in the Towers of Time, where you can get gear for a specific character by playing as them in the towers, so a cosmetic overhaul would be a really good idea, and plus there are so many designs the devs can still use for certain characters. I don't even think that the original Scorpion look from the reveal trailer is in the game yet, and that skin would be so cool to have. Maybe the option to unlock MKX styled skins and gear with various shaders as well. There's really limitless opportunities skin wise in an MK game, and I could go on for hours about the cosmetics alone. I really feel like the game could use some newer maps as well. Fighting on the same stages over and over can get a little boring, and some new scenery is a lot more important than people may realize. Classic stages with their own stage fatalities would be awesome. In MKX, when the second fighter pack launched, NRS included the classic bridge map and added some specific stage fatalities to a couple other areas. And of course, we have to talk about a potential combat pack too. A lot of fans are expecting this fighter pack of brand new characters, even though the devs haven't explicitly come out and confirmed a KP2. A lot of people based this on the leaks that were revealed before the game even came out. Characters like Shiva and Ash Williams were in the files, but were never released. I'm not sure if we will get those specific characters, but I do hope that we will be getting some new characters in the future. I'm not 100% sure we will though. But guys, this is going to do it for this video. I really hope that with all the things that I just mentioned, we're a little bit more insightful about what could happen in Mortal Kombat 11. I, by all means, want everything that I just listed to come to the game. Some new gear, some more characters, some new maps, and some more stuff to the crypt, and just minor things that could bring the longevity back to the game. But like I said, I hope that everything that I just listed will come to the game in some way, shape, or form. I am very excited to see what they are going to do with Mortal Kombat 11, and I am a huge fan of the game. Game, so I will be sitting here and I will be waiting. But guys, that is going to conclude this video. I really hope that you liked what I talked about in this one. And if you did, press that like button. If you guys are new to the channel and want to stay up to date with all things Rage Quit, including stuff for Star Wars Battlefront 2, Mortal Kombat 11, For Honor, the Predator Hunting Grounds game that's coming out very soon, and Overwatch, uh, 
Make sure you press that sub tab and the bell on the side so you always stay notified and never miss a single damn upload. But guys, I am Shadow Ninja and you just watched a Rage Quit video about what's next for Mortal Kombat 11. Thank you all for watching and as always, I will see you on the next one.